This is the big passenger elevator at the Mall of America. Relay logic for this stretch. It's got some really unique fixtures on it. Oh, this I saw them all. This is the most unique elevator in the entire mall. And look at how wide that door is. I mean, this is a at, very unique yeah, elevator. I'm standing at the back of the special. And Dakota's a pretty tall guy, and look at him. He's only about three. Now three watch this one finally arrives. Watch the lantern. They both light up. It's been doing that for a while. It's done never since. I got a video of this on 8mm back when I was here in 2000. It's, yep. Wow. All right, we'll start off by going to the S level. Someone sent it to S, and let's try to listen to it. One thing I don't understand is, why does the freight elevator close by itself? Usually they don't do that. Speed one's going on one floor. Like, I'm going to trip to someone using it. Oh, it's close. Alright, let's see what happens now. Right. The door closed, but that's really weird. Let's listen to the Notice how it has the older controller go to S than the one. Notice how it has the older controller where the numbers disappear between the floors? Yeah. Listen. Shaky. Yeah. It's a good spot. Watch this. Elevator hack. It's not going to open up down here. Hack. Check it out. Oh, stop. Now we're going up to one. It seems like it has like an older Otis motor. It does. Yeah. See how, you know, it's it's got the pie selector. And it's got size of one. <laughs> yep, this thing has the old pie selector. You know what one I'm talking about. Yeah. Like, um, it was one of the best controllers Otis ever made. Yeah, unlike, those, unlike older Otis traction elevators. Yeah, I think. 